y'all welcome to another video I hope everyone's having a great day I joined a group swap in the loaded envelopes and more Facebook group it is for a fall Halloween fall or Halloween loaded envelope box and the box was created by Miss Carol if you have not seen her video for this loaded box I'll leave a link to her channel down below because I know she did change the name of her channel recently in this box we also had to include two small simple tags two altered paper sacks and a card and then everything needs to fit in the pockets inside the box so I will share with you what I used to create my swap and then I'll share with you what I created so I used this recollections Halloween dies these are little nesting dies I also use this cat scrappiness scallop that um, frame die I used the Sizzix leaf die. I recently got this off of Amazon. This is the skeleton leaves. I used this Jenna Marie frame die. I used some ephemera pieces from this Simple Stories kit and it's called Fall Farmhouse. And then I used paper from the Joyful Gatherings. This is a paper studio cardstock. In the base of my box, I use the Cricut craft board. I use that craft paper. I've also created one of these for a Halloween swap that I have coming up soon. And it's basically the same. I use this black craft board for that box. So here are the two paper sacks that I created. I use that, I actually use a stashing rectangles die in the background. It's Elizabeth Craft Designs. And then there's the Cat Scrappiness Scallop die. And then there's the Gina Marie die, the ephemera pieces. Here's some of the leaves in a, this one is like a, a glitter brown. You have the dark green and that's some gold foil paper. Then I did a little bow out of some twine and that's one of Monica's flowers. Scrapping for my boys. And this one is basically the same. I just use another little kind of word. And then these are on some brown sacks. And there's where I use the pumpkins. I just put it on some little clips from my stash. And then this is one of the little satin bows from Anna Griffin. And I just have those to go on the top of my sacks. So these will not fit in my box. So that's the first thing that I created. And here is my box. I did a shaker on the front and it says, I love fall most of all. This is a frame from my cameo silhouette. I just enlarged it. I have it popped up on some foam. And the base of my box is done with that craft paper. I did some enamel dots on the top and bottom. This is a Christmas bowl. It has the wire in it from my stash. And then that's a craft flower that was gifted to me in some happy mail from Tanya at I Dream by Tanya. So that's what it looks like. That's the inside. It did not finish off the inside of the box. Here's what the inside of my box looks like. I put some of these felt flowers in there or actually just felt embellishments. And then this is what the inside looks like. It has these three pockets like a loaded envelope and they're actually stuck down to the bottom of this box. So here are the tags that I created. I didn't share this previously, but this is the tonic studio die that I used to create my gift tags. So here are my two gift tags they were just supposed to be some simple gift tags I just used the die with the paper I did use the craft board in between and then I used some gold foil paper with some eyelash trim and one of Monica's flowers and then I used some of this ribbon on this one I just used some little beads there's a little acorn dangle there on the bottom and I only did it on one of the tags and I just backed it in that same paper on the back so those are my two tags and then that was in that first pocket and then in the second pocket here's my card and the card had to be at least a six by six or a five by seven card so this is my card and this is a five by seven card you also had to include the envelope so I have a craft envelope and then here's my card I just used some brown cardstock inked around the edges. This is from that same, actually this is from a different collection. This is from the, um, it's called Welcome Autumn. And this is by Cartabella. I actually got some sheets off of scrapbook.com. So this sheet comes from that collection. 
and then I just popped up one of the ephemera and used several of the leaves I didn't do any stamping or anything on the inside I just used some of this brown recycled paper and a brown um, layering piece in the back so that's my card I need to put my sticker on the back and that was in that second pocket and then for the base these pockets on the inside I use a shimmer brown cardstock and then I layered the first one I didn't layer the second one and then I layered the third one in that um, Hobby Lobby paper and I have this piece of gold washi down here on the bottom I might embellish this a little bit more but I like the way that looks on the front in this next pocket I just have two packs of these Dollar Tree stickers and then there's room in the back to put more so I just included some of these little clips with the trucks and then some more stickers and to get the Dollar Tree stickers in there I did have to cut the tops off of these two to get them in there but this is how the box looks I did finish off the bottom part of it so that is my box I'm also going to include this little bag right here that I had in my stash from last year There's some of these little wood laser cut owls in there there's also one of these hand sanitizer holders I do have a separate video that I can link down below it's one of my share more projects with friends and then I'm going to include one of these little stitch pumpkins that I created and I do have a separate video on this as well and that's a chipboard piece from the pumpkin spice collection that's um, Prima so this is what I'm including in my swap with the loaded envelopes galore and more if you have any questions leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can I hope my partner likes what I created and I cannot wait to see what I receive back. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day. Bye.